you guys. It's Epic Realist. I am back. I'm out here walking, chilling in nature as usual. Chilling by the lake. It's gorgeous. I don't know what's going on. I hear a lot of noise around here. Somebody might be having a party or something. Way down the way, but. I don't know. I heard music a little while ago. I'm like, what the hell? Hmm. But anyway, um, I have a topic I wanted to talk about today. For those of you who watch Bread... And I'm about to bust my ass. Stepping on the little... Um, you know, I don't even know what these are. I wish I knew what these were. These... Pile of them. Anyway, for those of you who watch Red Table Talk, have you seen that polyamory video, the recent one they did? Oh wow, oh I think the pool is actually open. Oh, that's shocking. Oh, maybe that's the noise I'm hearing. Um, have you guys seen their recent polyamory video with Willow and Jada and uh, I think Jada's mother who they call Gammy <laughs> um, I saw that recently it's on a fluke I was on Facebook um, just going through stuff and I came across that video because you know I was recommending shit to you that you're kind of interested in and I know they kind of like talk they like talking about those types of things so I was like I just watched it and I think it was like close to 30 minutes long, 20 something minutes. And I was shocked. Actually, it might have been 40 something minutes, but I was shocked because I don't normally, I don't even care about Red Table Talk. I don't even watch TV like that. I watch movies and anime and stuff like that, but I normally even watch stuff like that. So I watched it. I watched the whole thing. It was kind of intriguing. At first, it was annoying because Willow was getting frustrated at her. Her mom and grandmother, his grandmother especially, wasn't understanding why she wanted to be polyamorous. Even though Willow is still young, in my opinion, and susceptible to lots of heartbreak. Um, but hey, she's in the celebrity world. She's been exposed to a lot of stuff, blah, 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 whatever. Um, at first I was getting annoyed because she was getting all pissy. Like, okay, well, I believe this and I believe that and you don't understand stuff like that you know because again she's young her rebelling a little bit but um i watched the video and as i watched more of it when they started bringing like more people onto the show they'll bring like examples of polyamorous people who you know people who follow this lifestyle and been doing it and so-called working for them you know uh oh they got music again oh so that's that music is coming from um shit i don't want to get copyrighted i need to walk away from that music away <laughs> anyway they were talking about their experiences and i remember uh willow's grandmother saying i believe it was her she was saying that you know this sounds nice and all but you know it sounds like it's just ro loosely based or rooted in sex like sexual feelings it's like okay you're just out seeing somebody you're already dating somebody. You go out on a whim and you see somebody else you're kind of attracted with, attracted to and you kind of click with them. And you're like, okay, well, why not we, why not date? You know, we're polyamorous. Let's get together and see if we can, you know, um, work it out as far as having sex. And of course, Willow didn't like that. She was like, no, it's not just about sex. It's about, you know, loving the person and cherishing them. And I'm like, I kind of get that. You know, I get it in the sense of polyamory should not be just about sex, regardless of how you look at it. It shouldn't be. Because if you just want sex, you might as well be a swinger. You might as well just either stay single or just tell everybody you're with that you just want sex. It's not a relationship. You're not, the person's not bonded to you. If you don't want a relationship, tell the person you don't want a relationship, you know? And it can just be a high and by, there's no hurt feelings. It shouldn't be any jealousy. What the hell's going on with my hair? <laughs> you know, it shouldn't be any hard feelings if 
said person you're fucking wants to go be with somebody else because you don't want to be serious. But you know, that's the trouble with polyamory because everybody seems like they want to fuck everybody. And that's a problem. That's where I have the problem because again, that's all I hear in the person in the people who talk about this. You know, you married, you got a partner. That partner has a partner, and that partner has a partner, and that partner has a partner. That partner got two partners, and that partner. It's just an endless stream of sexual partners, and I'm sitting there like, what is the fucking point of all that? You know, I don't, I don't see the point. I am polyamorous. What, what the fuck? Okay, whatever that was scared me. I guess it was a fish that jumped out of water and made some kind of noise over here in the garbage. I don't know what that was, but it scared me. That was kind of loud. Anyway, um, that's why I have the problem because it's like, what the, oh wow, these beautiful flower petal thingies are floating about. Y'all see that? I don't know if you can see that, but wow, it's pretty. Wow, such a gorgeous day. I keep being distracted. But yeah, everybody wants to have sex with everybody it's like okay you find somebody you click with cool that's great why you gotta fuck them like you don't have to fuck everybody that's what people are getting it wrong and i know because i've been there i've already kind of been there as far as every woman who paid me attention i just wanted to fuck them because they were just oh my god you love me you want to be with me you have to be with me sexually i have to have you sexually Reality is not really the case. That should not be the case. The fact that people are seeking sex so much out of every person is confusing to everyone. Because again, it's just to me, it's just disgusting. It just gets kind of disgusting once you have like over three partners. You know, like tech, personally me, I couldn't handle more than two. <laughs> I don't want to handle more than two because that's a lot of damn people. And like I said, think about that long chain. If that one person has a partner. I mean, you have a partner, your partner has a partner, your other partner has another partner, and they have another partner, so on and so forth. I mean, how, how are you going to manage these people? You know, it just seems like, you know, based on the show, okay, everybody goes out and have dates all the time. It's like, okay, I date you this night. I date you that night. What the fuck y'all got time for? They always got to pick date nights with certain people, and I'm sitting there like, where y'all getting this time from? Like, nobody has kids. Nobody has other responsibilities, like, how do y'all have time to date five, six people? How do you have time to set up dates like that? I mean, it just seems like nobody has a life. It seems like with some people who are constantly seeking new partners over and over, you know, to fulfill every single need they have when there's no such thing, there's no such person, there's no such set of people that can fulfill all 10 of your basic needs. Um, it just seems like it just seems ridiculous like you can't you shouldn't be seeking people for all of those needs there are some of those needs you need to fulfill yourself you know there are some of those needs that cannot be fulfilled by other people they cannot be fulfilled by other partners or whatever you want to call them you can't just find i mean you gonna find three partners who fulfill these needs and then if you find another need that's not fulfilled you're like eh, none of these three people fulfilling these needs i'm gonna go find a fourth what I mean, to me, this just doesn't make any sense. It just gets kind of crazy. Polyamory, everybody's just doing everything these days because they can. Because the boundaries of marriage have been lifted off. People are justifying. Marriage ain't working no more. Everybody cheating. You know, everybody should be open. We should be open with our relationships and just do whatever. No, I'm not saying do whatever. You still got to have some maturity with it. You know? You still have to put some boundaries on yourself. I mean, no one likes to be all loosey-goosey out here just doing everything because there's going to be some kind of trouble with that. I can't imagine the amount of people who've come across, you know, they're just out and about doing their thing. And they got other partners that they didn't know about. That uh, this other partner didn't know about. So then they get upset because they found out you had another partner. And then that partner gets upset because they found out you had another partner. And oh my God, it's just a string of disgustingness. Like, why do you have to fuck all these people you don't have to do that if you have a connection with somebody why can't y'all just be friends y'all don't have to bring it to the table and have sex you don't have to make it a platonic relationship 
a serious relationship. You don't have to do that. You just be friends. Like, why can't we, why can't we, why can't we be friends? I want some friends. <laughs> I want some friends that I could be close with. You know, like, I just, that show just kind of pissed me off in a way, but it opened my eyes more, you know, to what people are, to what people are actually doing out here. Regarding polyamory, it was kind of enlightening to hear their perspectives because, you know, they speak intelligently and they, you know, they speak very well on what they know and whatnot. And I respect that, you know. I respect that and I respect everyone's opinion. I greatly understand why the grandmother was like, but I don't like that. I still like monogamy. Some people are still monogamous. And I'm like, yes, I know. I, I respect that. I respect anybody who wants to remain monogamous. Poly ain't for everybody. It's just not some people they can't fathom the thought of not being jealous they can't fathom the thought of their partner being with somebody else not everybody desires that not everybody wants that not everybody's been conditioned to be that way unfortunately i have and that's just because of fucking porn and i'm just be real with you that's just kind of porn <sighs> porn as well as you know other things that happen in my life that hurt me so now it's like you know i desire to have two partners and i think two is enough that's just me i don't know why everybody out here keeps wanting to find more we already got this society of more everybody wants more and more and more like really if you want more sex just have more sex with the person you're already with have more sex with the people you're already with like why 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 put more on your plate again some of these people just don't have any <laughs> they got too much time on their hands because again, ooh, this looks pretty here. This transition. Accidental purple, I like it. I knew that was gonna happen anyway, in time. But yeah, these people, they just don't have a life, it seems. They don't have shit else to do, but just walk around and find more partners to fuck. Like seriously, oh, I'm attracted to you, I'm attracted to you, I'm attracted to you. Okay, you gonna fuck everybody you're attracted to? You gonna try to find a connection? with everybody you're attracted to just because you're attracted to them physically does not mean you're gonna have a connection just because you're attracted to them in speech doesn't mean that you should that you should pursue a sexual connection i mean that's just how it is but people don't think like that they're just like oh well we vibing we vibing today so let's vibe some more <laughs> and i'm like okay you people are messing yourselves up you people are messed uh, uh, fucking your heads up giving each other diseases giving each other you know fluid bonding with all these people because remember your partner has slept with somebody else you're getting that too when you have sex with them you're getting your fluids as well think about that think about how gross that is you know you're messing with somebody that you haven't even actually been with you haven't even fluid bonded with and you're just you're with them i mean you're with them so you're taking on that person's germs as well think about that's gross yo that's really gross like y'all i can't do it i put limits on myself regarding polyamory because in the beginning you really think that you want to do everything and have everybody like that's just how it is especially with me like being sexually abused you really think that you can just do everything in a way you know i made a video about that before where it's like why do we let our sexuality rule us and it's like we do especially now, polyamorous people, the sky's the limit. There's no commitment. There's no this, there's no that. People don't know how to communicate anymore. People want to fuck everything and everybody they come across. It's a little much, y'all. So, I just wanted to talk about that. That was my first Red Table Talk video that I'd ever actually seen. Like I said, I don't watch that stuff. I don't really watch TV like that. And I definitely don't watch Red Table Talk. Just don't really care to. Never had a reason. You know, um, I do like Willow, you know, for what she stands for, even though she's in the public eye. And of course, she's probably being conditioned to do a lot of things she does. But I still, you know, I like her. I like her and um, her brother and, of course, Will Smith and all of them. You know, they're all cool and whatnot, but I don't really watch their stuff. Y'all know I'm not into TV like that. But yeah, um, I just want to talk about that because that poly thing was a mess. Like I said, it opened my eyes up a little bit, but it was very messy. And to me, it just seemed like sexual connections. Everybody just wants sexual connections if the sex was cut off. You know what? That's a good thing to think about. 
if the sex was cut off, how many people will still claim to be polyamorous? Hmm. Gotta think about that. Like, for the for real, like, seriously. If the sex was cut off, if the sex was unavailable, would you still be trying to date that person? If you couldn't get sex in them anymore, I'm not talking about no asexuality thing. I'm not talking about people who actually have no sexual feelings because their body just doesn't go that way for whatever the reason. I'm not talking about asexuality, people who generally don't crave sex. That's fine, because they're not really for that anyway, but for those of us who do still crave sex, If the sex wasn't evolved in said polyamorous relationship, would you still date that person? That's the question for today. Leave me in the comments down below if you're poly or you have any opinions about this. Let me know what you think. And yeah, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. <laughs> I hope you guys are having as great of a day as I am. Thank you for watching. Peace out.